so you're thinking about becoming a home inspector. This video was produced to show you what home inspectors do and to tell you about the classes we offer around the nation. This is Ed Huff, a graduate of our school and a practicing home inspector in the state of Ohio. He will be showing us today many of the things that home inspectors do. During this video, we will be answering many of the questions that beginners often ask about home inspection. Uh, hi. My name's Ed Huff. Hi, Amy Fisher. How are you doing? This is Jack. How are you doing, Jack? Say hi. Come on in, Ed. Here's my uh, car. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, now we're going to go over the basics Home inspectors operate under established standards of practice. These standards were historically developed by the American Society of Home Inspectors, by the National Association of Home Inspectors, or other quality inspection groups, or those that were adopted by your state during the licensing process for home inspectors. Home inspection is a visual business. If the home inspector can't see it, he or she is not responsible for it. Home inspectors inspect all components of the house that are readily accessible. Home inspectors usually work for the buyer. In the future, home inspectors may work for the seller. But at this time, over 90% of the home inspections in this country are paid for by the buyer. And the inspection is done under the terms and limitations of a contract which clearly lists what the home inspector does and does not do. The home inspector cannot possibly know everything there is to know about a house. Remember we've already said that home inspection is of observable and readily accessible components. Home inspectors are not responsible for latent or hidden defects. Home inspectors are the family doctors of housing. If your physician finds a health problem, that he or she cannot treat as a family doctor, they refer you to a specialist. That's exactly what home inspectors do. They refer clients to plumbers, to electricians, to HVAC technicians, to foundation people, to roofers and the like. We are the family doctors of housing. We know a little bit about a lot of things, but we're not the specialists. However, remember, you'll never know it all. Continuing education is required by some states and is the hallmark of a true professional. You will never know everything there is to know about a house. This is not a destination. This is a lifelong educational journey. Good home inspectors are always increasing their knowledge. Home inspection classes are designed to put you in the business, designed to give you everything you need to start your business. Someone who's been a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, 
or any trade or professional practitioner certainly has more knowledge after five or six years of practice than they did in the very beginning. It's pretty much the same thing with home inspection. The longer you're in the business, the more you know. At the Home Inspection Institute, we're often asked about home inspector liability. Don't home inspectors get sued a lot? This is one of the myths of home inspection. A good home inspector uses his or her contract or agreement to clearly communicate to the client exactly what the inspector does and does not do. The clearer everyone understands what is to happen, the less likely there are to be problems. Good home inspectors have insurance to help protect themselves, both liability and errors and emissions insurance. They follow a code of ethics. They offer quality services and emphasize business practices designed to avoid liability. Good home inspection training programs feature practical liability management techniques. After 17 years of training home inspectors, it is my observation that when home inspection businesses fail, it's because of one of the three business aspects of the profession. A third of this business is the technical skills. Those skills include inspection techniques, tools, how to inspect a house. A third of the business is communication skills, both verbal and written, usually report writing and how we handle the client and the real estate agents we work with, verbally. And the last third of the business is marketing. I like to say in class, I don't care how good your cookies are, if you can't sell them, doesn't mean a thing. If you're the greatest home inspector in the world and you can't sell your business, well, then it's just so much training, so much expertise, and all for naught. It's the business skills that kill home inspectors. You want to learn, while you're in class, the good technique, what tools to use, and how to inspect houses. I believe most programs do that for you. You also want to learn those communication skills, especially report writing, and most specifically, marketing. Marketing would be the number one reason why inspection businesses fail. The inspector does not know how to market, or the inspector will not apply the techniques he or she has been taught. Because my past work experience includes over a decade of teaching at Xavier University in Cincinnati, Ohio, and because I'm a retired school administrator, I'm often asked about the educational recommendations for beginning home inspectors. These are my personal opinions. I would suggest there are three things I would tell a beginner. Number one, I would recommend you avoid buying a franchise. Franchises would be great if you were buying a restaurant, but in a business like home inspection, you do not need a business partner who wants a percentage of your take. This is a business where you put the money in your pocket, not in someone else's. Secondly, I would avoid home study. 
because of my lifelong educational background, I would certainly be able to put together a quality home study program if I thought they were of any quality. Difficult to learn this business if you're not in a building with a practicing home inspector who knows what he or she is doing. We do not recommend home study for initial entry to the program. The third thing we would recommend is to go to school as close to home as possible. You want to see houses during the class that are like houses you will see in your everyday business. When we teach classes in New England, we're dealing with boilers and hydronic heating systems. When we teach classes in the desert southwest, we're dealing with evaporative coolers. When we teach classes across the south, we're talking about heat pumps. The mechanicals and the techniques of building houses differ from region to region. We recommend you go to school in the area where you live. Once again, avoid franchises, avoid home study programs, and go to school as close to home as possible. What can we offer you if you attend a class put on by the Home Inspection Institute? We offer quality education programs in a number of states around the nation. We have over 3,500 graduates. Many of our classes are offered at colleges and universities. We are members of the Better Business Bureau in the greater Cincinnati area. We encourage you to ask questions. We never charge for advice. Home inspection is a quick entry, low overhead, high income profession. There are home inspectors already out there to be sure, but there's always room at the top. If you have any questions, please call us. That's what we're there for. We never charge for advice before or after class. Again, my name is Tony. Give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you.